Hello chance. Let me start by telling a story which shook me when I heard it the first time. On July 20, 2023, at Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, a lot of scientists got together to launch a rocket. It was supposed to be just another day on the job. The launch was scheduled for 6:30 a.m. and everyone expected things to go as planned. But at the last moment, a scientist raised an alarm and launch had to be postponed by 1 minute. But why did he raise the alarm? Because there was a traffic jam in the space. Yes, even the space witnesses traffic jams. So let's understand what are the space objects which do not make way for our rockets. So guys, before I take you to this exciting and unexplored part of our space, this might be a good time to hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss a cool video like this. So champs, space is an as empty as it seems. There are thousands of satellites up in the space. These satellites help us with things like watching TV, internet and even weather forecasts. And sometimes these satellites can come pretty close to each other. To make things worse, some of the countries carry out what we call anti-satellite tests. That is, they destroy their own dummy satellites in the space. And this creates a lot of litter around our planet. And that's not all. Old satellites, broken parts, and even tiny bits of paint are all floating up there. We call all of this space junk. With so much stuff in the space, it has become a little cluttered. And that's a problem, especially if we want to send astronauts or new satellites up there. Even a tiny piece of space junk, because it moves at a very high speed, can cause big damage if it hits something. It's like getting hit by a pebble thrown at your window really really fast. And sometimes this space junk also shows up on our land as it once did on the beach of Australia. The US Space Command once estimated that there are more than 26,000 space objects of 10 cm or larger and millions of smaller objects like peeled off paint flecks etc. and most of this space junk belongs to US, Russia and China. And when we are talking about space, how can this man be left behind? Mr. Elon Musk, one of the richest persons in the world, plans to launch 12,000 small satellites as part of his Starlink venture. So what are we doing about all this space junk? Scientists and engineers are thinking of some pretty cool ways to clean up our space. Well, we humans are good at creating problems and we are great at solving them. So scientists are already working on ways to clean the space junk and they have some pretty cool ideas up their sleeve. We will visit these ideas in a moment, but this might be the right time to hit that like and subscribe button. Some of the wacky ideas scientists seem to have to clean space junk are well, space nets. Yes, you heard it right. Scientists believe that they can deploy huge nets in the space to capture this junk. Once the junk is caught, it can be dragged down to burn up in Earth's atmosphere. It's like fishing, but in the space. Next, there are tug satellites. These satellites can approach a piece of junk and latch onto it. After making a connection, they can change its orbit. or guide it to burn up in the atmosphere and then we have lasers some scientists believe that we could use lasers from earth or from the satellites the idea isn't to destroy the debris but to gently push it changing its orbit to avoid collisions <laughs> isn't all of this super cool and exciting so some of these ideas will one day be used to clean the space around our dear earth which is getting as dirty as the earth itself so champs it's important to keep our surroundings safe and clean and the same applies to space around us so next time you look up in the night sky remember there's lot more happening up there than meets the eye 
So if you want to watch more such cool and amazing videos, hit on that like and subscribe button. See you next time.